Hello, I'm just gonna do a quick video on file upload and Strappy to make it clear for y'all. Essentially, Strappy is a server, so it doesn't care what front end you use. What it does care about is the format of the HTTP request that you send it, and this is important. So, in saying that, I've done this in a tutorial like manner so that I can run you through it, but there is some gaps that you will need to fill. Uh, if you're new to programming. So what I've done is I've created a Strapi application. You can look at how to do so on Strapi's website and I've created a Next.js application. So I've started my Strapi server. Now the first thing that you wanna do is go onto your Strapi server, create a content type, in my case, I've created one called article um, with a field of media, one for a single file upload and one for a multimedia upload. Both of them allow all file types. You can upload files to the media library as well. I'll show you how to do that. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to go into content manager. So if you just want to update one that you've already got, you can create one. and make sure that it is published or else you can't interact with it. The next thing that you wanna do is to check the policy of your server. So to do so, you go to settings, roles and permissions, public. And in my example, my collection type is called article. So I wanna be able to create a completely new article, find this article and update a particular article. So the one that I just showed you had an ID of two. So, this, so the API endpoint is API article slash two for this example. Um, also to upload files to your media library, you're gonna to need to go to upload, which is the endpoint, allow this. So it's gonna be slash API slash up, upload. Now to test that this is working, you can use uh, interface HTTP tools such as curl. I find the easiest way to do so is with Postman. So you come into Postman, you put in your server address, that it gives you slash API slash articles slash post. Now this is important, the method type, because if you do put, it's obviously not gonna work. Put is a update uh, HTTP method. So you would go, you would use that on updating an article. And I'll show you how to do that as well. But the key thing is this HTTP structure. So you come into here, body, form data. So to upload files to a collection type, you do have to use form data. You can't just send it in an object. So in this example, we've got a title and we've got two files. So to just update your standard data, you have to hit data and then structure it in this manner with a key value pairing it does have to be stringified or else it's not going to work for your files the structure is files dot name of your value so in our case the value is single and multi so to upload a single file it's in postman you click file and then you upload your file and then to test this we're going to send ID attribute nine, um, we're also gonna do a slash two, because we know that we've got that. It's gonna be a put request. Um, again, you can double check your methods by going to the settings and just checking the endpoint. So let's do a update, that's gonna be a put slash two. So we're gonna be updating two, it's got no data. Then we hit send. So we've created one with nine and we're up, we've updated one with two. Let me get back to here. Images have been uploaded. Singles have been uploaded. Uh, then articles nine is the other one we just created. Now, what you're all here for is to upload that data programmatically. Again, literally all you have to do is send that HTTP request in the same way. So in my case, I'm gonna be using Next.js and I'm gonna be using fetch which allows me to send an http re request so all that's important is that i send that data in the exact same way in a form data 
data and files single files.multi so to do so you firstly need to collect your data I'm using formic in this case so formic it is really nice on Next.js. I'll check it out but it literally just means that I can create the form so I've got one with the title this is what it looks like in the end I'll show you <coughs> one with the title, single upload and a multi upload. To upload files you need to use an input with the ID of file and then on change just as a method that gets fired off when something gets uploaded it'll capture it in here. So to do a single file upload you get the event and you store it in a file. Now what you'll see is on single file change from scratch on a single file change when I upload a single document this is what it looks like file list object zero file dot one if we try to send that that's not going to work we need to get that first file so to do so it's just like any programming most programming languages you can do it with uh, a bracket so in this case that's going to give us the single file upload and I've set it to single file. Again, this gets sent, this field gets sent to, when I hit the submit button, it gets sent to values and it'll be values.single file. So click here, values, values.single file. Now, again, because it has to be a form data structure, what you do is you create a new form data instance, save it to a variable, create a new data instance structure. So data, again, like I showed you, it has to be stringified and it has to be in the structure. So form data dot append allows you to append a data object with that stringified data. So that will eventually look like what I showed you in Postman. And the next thing you want to do is append files dot single and value dot single file will look like exactly like I showed you, value.single file will look like this when you're attaching it to file.single um, for multiple pictures, one, two, three, test. You need to use a for loop to loop over the multiple files in that list and add them to files.multi. I've literally done the same thing on my form. I have just captured it in a function and I have just saved it as one whole object. So when you look at this, on this is what I'm sending to the values. It's just again, it's just a file list. So my for loop is literally just going to loop over all of these objects and add each one to so that it eventually looks like that. So here's my for loop. And then I've appended it files.multi. And for just uploading it, it's just files. So I've done the exact same thing. I've gone to it's a put request to the endpoint that I showed you guys before on Postman. I've uploaded my form data. For creating one, it's the exact same thing, but for uploading a file, it's a little bit different. If you can recall, it is slash upload and it's slash files instead of instead of the alternative files dot it's just straight files so again I've demonstrated how to do this in here I'm not going to run you through exactly what I've done line by line like some of you have asked and that is only because it doesn't really matter how you get the information what what really matters is how you send it and and if you look at the structure upload so and the other thing is you can't just console log your form data it's a bit of a strange object in JavaScript or in other languages. You're going to have to use a for loop to look at the keys and values. But essentially, it will work. Like I've showed you, like on Postman, it will work if you send it in the right structure. So I'm going to put a link to this file in my GitHub. And if you have any questions, just flick me through an email and I'll be able to help you. Thanks.